friend. Welcome to Claiming Simplicity Podcast. I'm your host, Monica H. Baker. Are you feeling tired and overwhelmed as a mom working paycheck to paycheck, wanting to get out of debt and enjoy your family? I was too. And I realized if I was going to put God and family first, I had to stop spending all of my time at work. So I created a simplified life plan that allowed me to get out of debt, scale back my career, and still be able to live fruitfully but with more purpose and time than ever before, and I never look back. Inside this podcast, you will learn how to simplify your home and finances, learn simple routines, personal development, and connect your faith. I'm so grateful you're here. If you're ready to create a simplified life that you dreamed of, you are in the right place. Hello and welcome, friend. How are you? If you're just checking out this podcast, thank you for being here. I'm Monica, and I love teaching you how to keep life simple while enjoying the things that matter most to you. I do my episodes like I do my cooking, so I did a lot of batch episodes because that just makes it more efficient, and so I feel like I haven't been here for a few weeks, so I hadn't had a chance to tell you about our exciting new addition. We had a funeral last weekend, and so I took a couple of our grandkids home with us, and I told my daughter, who was just a few days away from her due date, that it would work out really well if she had a baby, and she listened. She had a quick three-hour delivery, and our beautiful granddaughter is doing fantastic. It was a really fun weekend, as two of the other grandkids came over, and we all enjoyed the new baby chicks, along with all the other animals. The chicks just turned two weeks, and they are just growing so quick. We also just got 50 meat chickens this week, and we'll get some more next week or the following week as well. So we were only going to get 50, but more friends wanted us to raise chickens for them. So we'll have about 100 meat chickens, as well as our dual-purpose birds that we got. My husband has been very busy making several chicken tractors so we can move them every few days around the field. As you know... I'm very passionate about personal development and growth mindset, and I want to give you some simple tips today to help you get out of the scarcity mode and start living your dreams of a stress-free, simpler life. I know it's hard sometimes to think about your big dreams of homesteading and slow living as they seem so far out of reach, and it takes so long to get to where you want to go. I've noticed with my coaching clients many times that it's their mindset that's holding them back and I want to help you with the negative self-talk. Achieving this dream does start with making a plan and moving towards it and it usually isn't an instant change and there is work involved. First, I want to explain to you what a growth mindset is if you're not aware and why it's essential for transitioning to a simpler, more abundant life. Imagine your mind is like a garden. In this garden, there are two main types of mindset, fixed and growth. Picture the garden with rigid, unchanging plants. People with a fixed mindset believe that their abilities, intelligence, and talents are set in stone. They think, I'm just going to stay doing what I'm doing because I'm comfortable, even though they don't love it. Or they think, I'll never be able to learn that or do anything else. Now, envision a garden full of thriving, flourishing plants. Individuals with a growth mindset understand that their abilities can be developed through dedication, effort, and learning. They see challenges as opportunities to grow and improve. Instead of saying, I can't do this or I'll stay stuck, they think, I can't do this yet, but with practice and perseverance, I'll get there. In essence, a growth mindset is all about embracing the idea that our potential is not fixed or limited. We have the capacity to learn, adapt, and improve throughout our lives, no matter what age. Here are a few key points to remember about growth mindset. Instead of avoiding challenges, people with growth mindset see them as opportunities to learn and develop new skills. They also understand that success often requires effort and perseverance. Even when faced with setbacks, they keep going and view failure as a chance to learn and grow. Rather than feeling discouraged by criticism or feedback, individuals with a growth mindset use it as valuable information to guide their improvement. And by embodying a growth mindset, we can inspire those around us to adopt a similar outlook on life, fostering a culture of resilience, curiosity, and continuous growth. Growth mindset is like tending to a garden of possibilities. 
By nurturing our beliefs and our ability to learn and grow, we can cultivate a more fulfilling and enriching life journey. I think back to when I started podcasting. I didn't know anything about the technology. In fact, when I sensed God telling me to start a podcast, I hardly even listened to podcasts myself, so I was clueless. I really had to work at speaking as it doesn't come natural for me, and I still do work on that, but it's gotten so much better with time. It started out slow, but being persistent and willing to learn has helped me become the top 1.5% globally. So with God's help and my obedience, it has been an amazing journey. This can be any area of your life. I just recently had someone tell me they were going to continue doing a job they didn't love because of the tax benefits. To me, that didn't make sense that you would put that reasoning before family, but it is a sacrifice some people make. I just hope you don't do something like that that you have regrets later in life. This is why growth mindset is so important. I don't want you staying stuck. If you're losing hope on getting a homestead with land, make sure you are learning all the skills you can right now where you are and plan for your simpler lifestyle. This growth mindset goes for anything in life. So what I want you to do is start your growth mindset with these practical tips. First, practice gratitude journaling, reframing negative thoughts or setting realistic goals. Two, celebrate small victories along the way. Appreciate the progress, no matter how small it seems, because this can help you build momentum and motivation for continued growth. Three, Identify your roadblocks or obstacles that may hinder progress towards a simpler, thriving life and learn as much as you can. Four, join a community of like-minded people. I have an online community called Simple Homesteading for Christians, and I will link that below. I also do a monthly homesteading gathering if you're in central Minnesota and like to join us. And number five, one of the most important things you can do is to maintain a positive and uplifting attitude. I encourage you to step out of your comfort zone and get out of the scarcity mindset so you can do what God has called you to do and live with less stress doing what you love. Love you, friend. Have a great day.